for Hilda Lund. Hello. Joel Phillips. Religiousfreedomwatch.org. Hello. How are you? Just fine. Yourself? Good. May I interview you? Yes, of course. Good, because we may use some of it. All right? Yeah, okay. On the site? Okay. okay. All right. Well, thank you for accepting my invitation to come yeah. to Los Angeles. But what brings you here? I'm on my holiday. You're on holiday? So yeah. you came all the way here? I've got all the way to America to visit the nice country. Good. Yeah. And then all the way here? And, and uh, got a lot of friends here in LA, so I've been through many cities to visit many friends. And this is one of the places. Okay. Okay. So obviously, I have questions about why you would go after my religion so fiercely. Well, it's, there's many, many reasons. It's, it's not your religion I'm after, it's, your, it's the group that is called the Church of Scientology. Not you as a Scientologist, nor your, your religion. I believe that you have the absolute right to believe in whatever you want. That be Scientology, if you define it as a religion or a self-help course or whatever. That's your absolute right. And I would defend to my death your right to, to believe in that and stand by that and, and, and tell people about it, have your websites and your ads and everything. But I also believe it's very important that we have both sides. That I met a lot of people who came into Scientology and at some point felt that they were deceived or frauded or somehow their life were affected. Some were right, some were wrong, but there are victims in the tra tracks of Scientology. And when what, what, got you, what got you started? Uh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, Scientology... I mean, there's a lot of issues. Right? Yeah. There's a lot of issues. Well, you, do you want me to do specifically why I got involved? Yes. Okay. In Norway, there was, there's been four major lawsuits against Scientology. The three first were all settled out of court by Scientology, paying big money to keep it out of court. So they didn't get a court decision. The fourth against Magne Berge. He refused to settle, went all the way to the top court in Norway, and he got all his money back. That was a note in the newspaper, triggered me to investigate more. Got, went to the internet, found a lot of information there that was being withheld or threatened. People were threatened so it couldn't be on the internet. So I saw that, I mean, there were people trying to do, just show one side, not, not the deny you the right to say your thing, but there were people here who were denied saying their thing. So I wanted to stand up for them, that's a direct reason. And it was the lawsuit in Norway that triggered, triggered me. But, okay, thank you. But what I don't get is, of all of the issues in the world, there are all of the issues, and some of them, you know, some of them have have almost no discussion, right? Some of them, there's almost no disagreement on how bad they are. Yeah. And it's, and it's, uh, that's chance. I mean, I, I think it's the same chance in life that you ended up where you are. There's a lot of reasons, small or big. But no, no single individual can solve all problems. But if everybody did their little thing, I think the world would be a little bit better place. So yeah, there's a lot of things. But this is not all I do. I also do a lot of other things. But this is, this is what you see. And, uh, and, uh, Mr. Booker thinks he's Michael Moore. <laughs> you, you're allowed to go... I'm right in the middle of, of a... Of but you're allowed to go around filming without believing that you're Michael Moore. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, do you I think? Don't you think he really thinks he's Michael Moore? No, I think oh, okay. I think he's. I'll just check. Yeah. No, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know him like that. No. Okay. Yep. Nor do I. But you know, I know what you're saying, and I know different different people have had have had personal issues yeah. that prompt this. You know, yeah. ones of which, you know, obviously I have an opinion on. Of course. But yeah. with yours, I don't. I just don't quite. Hi, Joe. Hi, Tori. How are you? Good, and you? I'm excellent. Good. <laughs> the ears I don't get. Hello. Well, it's, for me, it's, it's a big issue about free speech. What Scientology did when I, the time when I get, got involved, Scientology was doing a lot of very bad things. How, how did you get involved? That, I, mean, that's what I, I know, I knew you explained it to me, yeah. but what, what was your involvement, right? I saw, I, I saw in front of me these things happening, and I said, this is not right. And, there was, there, was, there was issues about doing it in America because of the legal system and how Scientology, not, not how Scientology, but how the Church of Scientology abused the system mm -hmm. in some degree. So there was things that could be done from Scandinavia. I saw that from what other people did. And I think it's, 
I think it's how life presents you with opportunities to say, to put your stamp, put your feet down and say, hey, this is important. Let's, many things are important, but life serves you with some opportunities and some challenges. And this was life serving me with a challenge. If I don't dare to stand up against this organization, what they are doing wrong, then I don't deserve to live in the best country in the world and have all the so liberties I have. Know what they're doing but wrong. what did what he did you I that. Tori I do, please. No you don't. Oh, Tori. If you did you would be But with what us. what did you do? What, what so I, I got that now. What was it you did? Because you said all of a sudden you were being attacked. What was it you did? I made a web website and I uh, and I published and I, I a lot of critical material. Mm -hmm. I also talked a lot about the secrets that Scientology wanted to be unknown to the public, so that made Scientologists come to my door, made them send a lot of legal threats for here from LA and from Sweden and from Norway. Uh, I got a lot of uh, PIs after me and my friend and ex-girlfriends and stuff like that. And that's <laughs> kind of weird because each time, like you said, you, 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 you're maybe, you're, I mean, you're questioning why is he involved like for eight years? And it's not, I haven't been, even been in. Mm -hmm. but one of the main reasons is, all the things that Scientology did. Because each time I wanted to give up, they did something stupid and went after another critic. They came after me and my exes or my friends or my employer or the organizations I'm in and did something that triggered me. Just kept on proving that what, everything I was saying was right. So that's what, how it ended up being eight years. But it's, yeah, it's, it, it's by chance that I am a critic of your church. That's a, that's a I can't know, I don't know the better English word, but it's by chance. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not accusing you. I'm just saying no, no. that's incredible. Yeah. But I, I, mean, I, 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 I don't. I don't. And I quite get it. But that's. Hey. But I, I told. I totally respect your sign. I mean, I don't mind you being but a sign But I don't know. You carry signs. You say you want. You want. You don't want to scare people. You're not after Scientology. My, but yet this is. This is a big goal. part of my life, but you attack yeah. the very essence of it. Goal number one, people should be free to choose whatever they want for their lives. Mm -hmm. To do that, you need free access to both sides. You can't put them in a situation where they have more information about one side. That's propaganda. And that's what you do if... There are many people have told me that in a, in a Scientology group, they, they are refused access to the other side. I think that's wrong. It's, a, it's your freedom if you want to go into... A, club or a group who denies you access to other information. Well, that's fair enough. But I'm, I'm saying, I think, I think that's wrong. I want, I want people who walk in from the streets, and that's what they have the liberty now. Yeah. Lots, tons of people email me every day saying, not tons every day, that's exaggerating, but people are writing me all the time saying, I went in to take this personality test, mm -hmm. and the first thing they do, what do people outside in the world world do? They go back and search the internet, they're buying a car, is this is this uh, salesman uh, to trust. Go on the internet, see if he has any enemies, people who are complaining. I'm entering this uh, church saying they have a self-improvement. Well, I go on the internet, and who's number two on Google? This is my site. So they get both sides. Some of them don't listen to my criticism. They go, and I wish them luck, and that's all fine. But many of them, when they see both sides, have a free choice, and that's what I'm looking for. And the people I met who, who consider themselves victims, that's the first thing to say. I never had that second option. I never knew the other side. But what about what about our rights? What about my rights? But you OT? But your rights are. are I, I'm, I'm not stopping your rights. Oh, you are absolutely by putting things on the internet that we consider to be sacred. But excuse me, who's putting things on the internet? Aren't you putting things on the internet about others? About me? Well, You've got course. all kinds of junk about me. <laughs> so you can't. But not, but not our, so you're not not our theology. But you're, not our theology. But you're putting lies Rachel, on the internet. Answer no, this not question. True. You point them, you point <laughs> them out to me, <laughs> and I'll correct oh. them. What? Let's keep picketing. No, no, no. If you won't no, answer you, me, that's not okay, fair. Well, I'll answer you. You're going to put all these lies up. You want to interview course. my friend, but you won't. I've been such a, have I been a gentleman? You've been a gentleman, but I, I know told, people that you work for, and they're not I work for me. They're going to take this information and use it against him. And I promise you that. That's what they but, did. Tori, they took the information yeah, But he's me. a big boy. <laughs> why do you Why do you back them up when he's they a, have all these lies about me? Well, he's seen my website. He well, knows. what about me? Yeah, right? I, you're you're, you're I, having I, a conversation I, with me. You know, I link, right? I link to you, but you would never dare to link to me. That's that's quite interesting, and <laughs> no, I tell I that to would. everybody. No, I never I tell that you, to why everybody. Why would you say take down the lies about me when they're absolute lies? You, you show me where they are, 
if they're on my they're site. They're on Religious Freedom Watch. That whole site. Yeah. Those are lies about me. They are absolute well, lies. Four pages of lies. You you proved to me that they're that's there. the case. There's nothing to prove. You proved to me that it's true. They're no, lies. I don't have that. I don't have. The, you you know, won't call. We don't me have that obligation. See, that's the bottom line. We don't have that right. obligation. You but, won't talk to me. See, you won't Victoria, call me because I know. You can say whatever you want and, 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 and not prove anything because you say, I, I have to prove the negative, I have to prove it wrong. But so, so I can go out and say that Hubbard, well, Hubbard was doing incest because I don't have to prove it, you have to prove I'm wrong. Is that your logic? I'm saying don't put lies on the internet. But you're well, putting I lies about me on the internet. Are, I don't think we are. But do I have you lies are. on the internet? You have, you know, and I don't believe me, I don't spend a lot of time with I believe your it. website. I believe okay? it. Okay? <laughs> but I am aware of it, okay? Yeah. But there we have a page about on me? your website that we consider to be sacred. What? Okay. What? Some of the things that you promote about what? what's in store on on our upper levels, we consider that sacred. We don't consider that people have the right to to spread that, however altered whatever altered state it is, and claim that it's the real. So, state. but but you telling people about my life, that's not sacred. If it's true. Well, if it's true about Sinu... No, but these are religious studies. Don't confuse well, it, the actions so, of a person's lifetime. So if I invent something that a religion is more sacred than my personal life, a is that more sacred it's than my personality? But so my, so my, my, my personal spirit, my thing, my life is less, less sacred than something you make up about a, 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 a galactic overlord 75 million years ago. I'm less important than that? No, not at all. What, 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 that's what, that's, that's your logic. You, you have a personal religious belief. I will totally respect your right to have that viewpoint. This yeah. is a spiritual endeavor. This is not about a body or a single but the, lifetime. But the only this reason, the only, but the only reason for you to be afraid or ashamed of what you're telling in that religion is because it's something you can't defend and that's the reason why it's sacred. That's why Hubbard didn't want the, the wall of fire to be known. He wanted the secret. He wanted to test you before you got there because he knows it is, it is, people won't believe it. I mean the other religions aren't afraid of what they believe in. They're not ashamed of it. Oh, all religions have, have first of all, let, let's clear up this issue. A religion has its rights, and we could argue this all day yeah, long. Absolutely. And each religion, we should respect their rights and respect their rights to their material. Say, same, say, and say, we do. Same as, same as you should respect me. Well, you're, first of all, I do respect you. Never answer real question. But uh, I mean, I, I'll be put uh, no, I don't respect you, but I respect your rights. <laughs> <laughs> you don't respect me, but you respect my rights. Exactly. But how can how can somebody you respect have rights you respect? <laughs> That's 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 oh, a con con that's, that's a contradiction. Way too philosophical. Because if if if, 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 because me if me if, if, if me as a person isn't respected, how can I then have rights you respect? That's yeah, that's a contradiction. I'm getting a headache. <laughs> that's a contradiction. You should be getting Please, a headache. Because your God, is going out. Coming on. That's right. Oh, but that's God. that's what I'm saying. You answer the question. You respect right to free speech. Oh, come One question at a time, please. I respect the rights to free speech if they are conformed with the rights of other individuals and other religions. Absolutely. So that's that's that that in why don't you practice it? Why doesn't OSA practice it? OSA, yeah. OSA tries to stop my free speech. That's, I mean, I, I can prove that beyond that. I can prove that they're trying to stop my free speech. So I'm not trying to stop them. I've never taken any right away from any Scientologist. I never said they could not talk about the religion. I never tried to close down any of your sites. Not try to take you out of any search engines on the internet. I don't even try to tell you to take out of any lies on me. I don't care. I use my, you are my prime example to all the people I know when I want to tell them what the Scientology is doing to you. I point them to your site. Thank you. I have a link on the front page of Operation Comeback <laughs> to link to your site. And I so this is what Scientology does. This is how We're they work. A lot of hits, so that must be. Yeah, yeah. You, you get, and people write me. This is just had a guy the other day. I was, I was over on this site, and it was. Man, you must be a bad, bad person. Which side is his? And I, and I was like, you've been, you've been having PIs after me for eight years. I told you I was PIs. And the worst thing you can dig up on me, I'm an atheist? I mean, man, you're an atheist too if you believe in this. Oh. Which side is his side? Religious Freedom Watch. Your side is the side that yeah. has lies about yeah. me, anti -amonis? Yeah, yeah. And you don't even know what the lies are? You never checked with me? You never checked to find out if they're true? You just slapped that stuff up? He, because Osa told did you. Did he check with me? Did you about check what with he was Osa? Put I'm up asking about you. You said you were never, I've never written anything about you, have I? No. No? No, you did write me an email once. Yeah. 
interesting. But it was were, nice. Were, were, you, were you also responsible for the previous site about me? Where you had uh, my social security number, my depth, my car registration, uh, how, how much money I had, and where I lived, and my employer, and people like you. People like you. You don't know. Who provided you the data about me? Did you, how did you call it to check the information about me before you put it out? It's just the name. Barry forgets who I am, you know? He just, uh, we've You're known just each other I don't forget years. who you are. I know exactly who you are. <laughs> do you, I remember uh, you. Exactly. What, 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 uh, to what degree did you call it to check the information you put out on me as a person? It's checked. Oh, That's well, all I'm I can checked. say. How? Yeah. You but, have not checked But it. this is not your interview. This is my interview. Oh, sorry. Come on. Sorry. No, no. sorry. No, no. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Next, 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 next question. <laughs> I don't have any next question. Well, I just, but I, I, I still, I mean, uh, and you'll, I know you'll answer me honestly, right? Yeah, well, I am. We have all of these big issues. Yeah. They're all over the world and, and terrible injustices, okay? Mm -hmm. The anti-Scientologists point out a couple of things here and there, right? Which they say are true, which frankly I dispute, and frankly I don't, I don't personally spend any time you know, it's not my. Yeah, it's yeah. not one of my things that I like to do, is go in, go in and look at these hateful but things. But you put stuff that you know but people hit on your site all the time that are flat out lies about me and Andreas. No, and you no, don't care I would about never that. put a lie up there about it that. It is a lie, but, Joel. But, but Stop the thing that. about it is, <laughs> see? No, see, it's coming back. You got back. a headache again. Yeah, but, but it's, you I have to remember, this something. is. I mean, I'm, I, I, my mind can do many things at the same time. Mm -hmm. One of the things I do is this. Now the thing is work, and other things, a lot of other things I do. So I mean, the world evolves only, not only around Scientology for me. This is one thing I do. This, this is one place where I can, I can make a difference. So I'll put extra effort in here in period where I th when I think it's important. But I mean, I, I get daily proof that it's, it, it's having a, an effect on the effect that I hope. People get informed on both sides, and they make an educated uh, decision, you know, and that's great. No, but I think that's a bad effect. Because it's pe people, the receiving something negative and something that I, in my opinion, yeah. shouldn't be there. Okay, whether it's a lie or but whether then, it's then, confidential. Then you're against free speech. No, no. But if that's there, that, that, that's free speech. Free speech Joel. should carry Joel. responsibility. No, 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 Joel. I'm not going to argue free the speech. law with you. Free speech should carry I'm responsibility. Free. Why don't you practice that? Why I'm don't you side. practice free that? Free speech is free speech. It doesn't say free speech with the responsibility that George. Yeah, well, yeah. But, 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 but we we bring in the issue of I bring in the issue of responsibility and ethics. I trust it's important. I trust no, I, no. I I trust my fellow man. I say I trust her. I say you come to my site. You don't don't take my word for granted. It says specific. If, if you read my site, it says this. Don't take anything I say for granted. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody else. Make up your, do you your investigation. It make it true. your choice. Go and watch. I have a link to Scientology yeah. page. I have a link to your page. I say go and, and check yeah. both sides. Then you make up your own yeah. decision. And that because I trust my fellow man. You don't. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want them to see propaganda? I don't. But I, everything you say, you have to remember, everything you think is bad on my side, and, or it's a lie, or it shouldn't be there. Others disagree with you. So we have a conflict, and you don't rule the world. So free speech and freedom of information is exactly that. It's allowing things you don't necessarily like. But because there's freedom, and it's equal, it goes for me, and it goes for you, like it or not. But, but I'm not talking about things like or dislike. Yeah, you are. I'm, no, I'm talking about a responsibility with what you put up that it's true. I but think I hold that up. I have, I have, I have, no, I have challenged for eight years on my page. I've, all Scientologists has an open invitation on my side. Come prove to anything that's wrong. I'll post it, and I have posted eight things. I've, for eight years, I've received eight letters saying this and this is wrong. I posted everything, not censored anything. There's freedom of information. You can access it on my page. Eight people. And you say you're eight million, and nobody can point out the errors on my page? Oh, I mean, hey, and and believe me, I don't spend any time doing that. No, but and, maybe and you should because and maybe I should. Yeah. you know, you make a good point. Maybe I should. Because but if if, if, if let, let example, yeah. if if I had by mistake or by uh, because my error has something about you, saying that something bad about you, and you pointed me to that, and I I would seriously reconsider it. I said, this is nothing about why I'm criticizing Scientology. I would remove it. I've done this. I've done errors. I've done things I regret. And I've changed and I've said sorry. And I've moved on. I've done that with Operation Comeback all the time. But I've not received anything about you complaining about this is wrong. Okay. L let me ask you this. Yeah. Why, why is it 
how, how do you explain that we are so many? With well, the, that how, there is spectacular define, growth. define many and define growth. Oh, I don't know. I know. Well, how can you I say know. you're many, you have I, growth I, if you don't know? I, you you know, have to relate that to something. To, you could attend uh, uh, an event. Saturday, there were 5,000 people. In Madrid? That's just in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, we, that's we, many, many people. That's many. There's, I'm there's saying that you correct. There are, there are more than 5,000 Scientologists. That's uh, absolutely true. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have you, have you ever thought that you may be doing something instead of, you know, you, you go under the banner of doing something good? Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought that maybe you're doing something very, very unsavory I'm, by I'm, keeping even one person out of Scientology? Of because course. they. I'm thinking, I'm re-evaluating, I'm, I'm taking every response I get very seriously, I investigate them, I talk to people, talking to tens of thousands of people over the last eight years, trying to figure out, and that's why I made a webpage, I want to challenge my opinion. I, I saw a situation, I went out, investigated both sides, I, kept, I came back with a lot of opinions, and said this, the world should see this in this context, as I want to present it. But hey, and it says on my side, please tear it apart, I challenge everybody, tear it apart, prove me wrong, try to convince me. But people don't dare. And why don't they dare? Because Scientology installs a, a, a filter on the PCs with, the, with, the, with the, the net nanny thing, so they can't get it where everything about CNU is blocked out. We have the software, we know. So people, Scientologists can't come and see my side, so they can't see the other side. I don't care if people go into Scientology. I honestly don't care. But I do care about when they are lied to. And what you say is, is, is sacred because it's religious. It's deceiving and lying to people. When, you, when people come into Scientology, Scientology is compatible with other religions? Yeah. Sorry, that's BS. Because we know when you get higher up the grade, it says there is no God. Christ, Jesus was just an implant. It says in Hubbard's text. So, and, and people... I, I'm not going to address that. All, no, all, all that, was a, that, that was one example. But that, that, that's the issue. You can't say, you can't stand, you can't stand uprised and sell something to the public and say this is this and this, and, and that people buy it, and when they get, when they paid uh, $200,000 and six years of their life, come up and they hear something they were lied to. That's what I'm telling. If people want to not believe in, uh, in Jesus and believe in what Hubbard said, fair enough, great. But they are, they are, they should know that up front. That's freedom of information. You don't like what okay. I'm saying, but it's freedom Fine. of information. But what I'm saying is, if somebody has Somebody, it changes their life. Like for me, for example, yeah, yeah. I can speak from personal experience. Yeah. Got into Scientology, it changed my life. Great. I'm probably, I may be alive today because of Scientology. Great. I don't know. I'd probably be living a life that I didn't want to live. And I invite you to, draw, to, to, to write your success story and I'll put it on my site. And I want people to, but, to read both sides. But once something's winning, if you're really doing well, there's no obligation for anybody to say, oh, wait a minute. Do you know about this other stuff? Do you know about, you know, have you, you checked have to, this out, the dark side? You have you to know? move up the bridge, you know that. You, you, you will be pushed to move up the bridge, and you will learn new things up the bridge that you didn't know when you were down there. If you go into a church, a Christian church, a Catholic church, or whatever, and a Muslim, you will know what it's about. You can go to a library and you can read up in an in encyclopedia. What is this? Okay, this sounds good, I'll go in and study it. If you go in and read about Scientology, it's false. You have false information about what it actually is. When you go up to OT3, 4, 5, and up to 7, it's different from what you're told up front. And that's fraud. And that's what I'm against. Oh, I, you and I don't, are not even close to agreement on that. No, I, I know, I know. And but well, I, I'm talking to the cameras now, of course. So I'll try not, try not to do that. But it's, I, I treasure that you and I can stand on a pavement in LA and disagree and smile to each other. I respect you. Take my side for what it is. You don't have to read it. I hope you read it once. I read your side up and down and I linked it and I used it as a reference. So, I mean, and I, and I show it to people not saying anything about you because I don't know you. I show people, read the site. People who don't know me. And read my site and read the Scientology.org and people come back with an opinion. And do you know what the opinion usually is? It's not favors for you or for Scientology. Yeah. For the people I meet. Yeah. But there are a few of you and there are many of us. That should, be, well, you, that should tell something. Define the word many again, because we know that 8 million is a lie. We can prove it's a lie. You can, every country that, in the West, every, con every country in the Western world has something called statistics, public statistics. In Norway, we have Statistics Central Bureau, who does statistics on religion and income and work and families, everything. But we have no obligation in America to, to declare religion. 
No, official. but we have we have official statistics who go out among people and make statistics. How many? How do they know how many Catholics or Christian or atheists there are? We don't know. How, it's all somebody spinning the stats. It's somebody making stats, going around. We have stats from all around the world, Norway and America alike, and all the other countries. And there just is not eight million Scientologists in the world. Sorry. Okay. And, I, know, and I actually don't know what the number. We is, know but that's I just a lie. There are many. In Norway, they don't even. In Norway, you can register. Uh, your church to, to get state uh, funding, but you have to show, show how many members you are to prove your number of members. Scientology never did that in Norway because they know that they have to prove that they are very few. And the radio, Norway is four and a half million people. Three, four years ago, they officially said there were 30 people. And we know they are under 10. We can count them, we know their names. We know they are lying. We can prove it. I got yeah. page up and page down, and it's lies. Yeah. I mean, David Miscavige stands on this big, big screen and show these fantastic stats. We can, we can go back to all the magazines. We have Christie who made statistics from back to the 80s, showing that the number of clairs and OTs and everything is going down. But still, you believe it's going up because that's what they tell you. But we can prove it please, from the stats. Uh, please, grant, grant, grant me more, more being this than that. But you are, you are telling me you're going up, you're boosting. Yes. We go around looking at your orgs. We have reports from the orgs all around the world. We see that you're going down. Yeah, but we're comparing you for 10 years ago, you're going down. We're going down, going down. No, we no, know no, it. No, no, we no, know no. It. We've had spectacular growth, and and what you're getting is you're you're you are you're taking it from your viewpoint of trying to change what it really is. What it so, really is oh, is you, a few people who have attacked us, and you've attacked us very yes. vigorously. And you know what? Efficiently. We're booming. Efficiently. We're booming. Well, we can we can disagree. We can agree to disagree. <laughs> I, I I have I, I have a different perspective. I see something different. And uh, you see what you see, and I acknowledge that. That's fair enough. I'll take that into consideration. Talk to many people who say the same as you do. So we just have to disagree. All right. But so. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Do you have any I'm more questions? Hot. No. That's nice. What no. do you have? There. And I still don't understand why you do what you do. But but I'll I'll. Uh, I will never that's understand it. what you're doing, what you're doing. But I hope. I mean, as long as you're happy, that's the only thing happy for. Uh, only that matters for me. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Can I ask why uh, you have to distort the images of the critics who you have on your website? You take a picture of a critic and then you have to you know, stretch it and distort Mine it. Mine included. And you also nicked that from another critic, Roland, who took that picture. I don't know, Roland. So you oh, can... yeah. Okay. If you're interested in the truth, why do you even go to such length to you know, distort the truth about someone's image? Yeah. Well. There's an image there. We put it on. Well, somebody Not somebody distorted it, it and is you it, say you checked it, it out. Perhaps but not. now you have good pictures of me. Will you change it? This is more updated with the beard and stuff. So maybe you, and I'm a bit uh, well, yeah. rounder. So maybe you'll update I it now. Barely knew you. Yeah. Send me an email. I'll send you some real pictures. No. <laughs> we don't need that. Well, my, my question about the images, though, is if you have to distort the the person's image, how do we know you're not distorting the truth well, about what you're printing would, about the person? I would say, I haven't distorted an image, and if it's unflattering, um, that's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> Says a lot about your fact-checking.